The cold welder is a technology that uses a large current pulse to flow through the work bias and repair the joint surface of the casting in an instant so that it is quickly melted and combined. Because it generates very little heat during welding, the base part and the material near the welding point are kept at room temperature and the base material will not be thermally deformed, so it is called a cold welder. There are two types of cold welding machines on the market, namely precision repair welding machines and electric spark surfacing repair machines. The two types of welders have different focuses. The precision repair welding machine focuses on welding and welding repair, and the electric spark surfacing repair machine focuses on welding repair. If the argon arc welding is modified to add a transformer, but no matter how modified it is still argon arc welding, the cold welding effect is not ideal. After all, the principle of a real cold welding machine is different from that of argon arc welding. When using a cold welding machine for repair and surfacing, since the heat input is low, why is the bonding strength still large? This is because the welding rod instantly produces metal droplets, which transition to the contact part with the base metal. At the same time, due to the high temperature of the plasma arc, a strong diffusion layer like roots is formed deep in the surface. It exhibits high bonding and can be directly milled, filed, and ground without falling off. The welding wire is fed through the wire wheel, the contact tip is conductive, and an arc is generated between the base material and the welding wire, so that the welding wire and the base material are melted. And the inert gas argon is used to protect the arc and the molten metal for welding. The arc starting of argon arc welding adopts the arc starting method of high voltage breakdown. First, High frequency and high voltage is applied between the electrode needle, tungsten needle, and the work bias to break down the argon gas to make it conductive, and then supply a continuous current to ensure the stability of the arc. In order to protect the easy arc starting and improve the welding quality, the argon arc welding machine also adds a booster arc starting device at the output end, which uses the other set of secondary side of the transformer of the high frequency and high voltage generator as a booster transformer making when the high frequency and high voltage generator works it also raises the voltage at the output end to ensure arc starting after the arc starts the booster device is also disconnected along with the high frequency high voltage current generator however no matter how it is modified it is still argon arc welding the cold welding effect is not ideal. After all, the principle of a real cold welding machine is different from the principle of argon arc welding, so when we buy a cold welding machine, we must first understand know whether the cold welding machine is the original machine or the argon arc welding modified machine. Don't buy a cold welder that is modified for argon arc welding for a small price. Ordinary pulse argon arc welding machine only controls the change of the current to achieve the pulse effect. The peak time of the pulse is above 100 ms and there is a maintenance of the base current. Many of them belong to a welding process, because the heat input per unit time is large, the deformation of the work bias is relatively large, and the output of the cold welding machine generally adopts the capacitor energy storage type. The welding time is only below 10 minutes. The peak current is very large, and the welding time is very short. 
only one point can be welded at a time. The internal charging of the machine, restart the arc welding, but because the welding time is short, the heat input is relatively concentrated, the work bias is basically not deformed, and the surface forming effect is similar to laser welding.